Hey everybody, it's Justin from J3 Creation, where we create high quality functional art. Today I've got a, about um, a yard of black cotton tapestry. I'm going to do a reverse dye. I'm going to do a 16 point mandala. I've got it folded in half. So my center point is going to be here for the mandala. And basically we're just going to do the usual airplane fold. And then we're going to get it into some bleach and let that kind of discharge all the dye or do the reverse dye. Um, and then we're going to neutralize the bleach solution with a peroxide solution. And um, so, yeah, after that, we'll probably let it dry for about three days in front of a fan. And then we will dye it and see what we get. So we're just doing basically a paper airplane fold. And this will get you a four point mandala. This will get you an eight point mandala. You also wanna make sure your seams are lined up. I realize it's probably pretty difficult to see as far as the color contrast, but I've got a lot of videos out there on how to do the mandala. This is just my first one with a reverse dye tapestry doing 16 point. So, just wanted to film the process. And so, here we are. So, this last fold gets you that 16 point mandala. And then you wanna secure your folds before you flip it. And you flip it, and you make sure that your folds are secure. And you can do a little bit of adjusting now if you need to. And then we're going to do the same basic fold on this side, where we just do the airplane fold. That'll be a four-point mandala. And I don't know if mandala is really the right word. Um, maybe somebody could help me on the lingo to use, but... That's just kind of what I've been using. Um, so, that'll get you the 8 point. And this will get you the 16 point mandala. So, I'm going to throw some elastics on here. And then I'll do a time lapse. Just because not everybody has time to sit there and listen to me ramble on about tie-dye. But there are other videos out there that you can watch that I'm not doing a time lapse, but basically just doing a zigzag pattern all the way up the fabric, and then we'll throw it in some bleach water. Okay, so here's the finished tied result. I did a little bit more, just kind of single wraps, not necessarily zigzag, on the uh, inner circle kind of point of the mandala and at the end. But the rest, as you can see, is kind of zigzag. I had a break in my line, so I had to restart. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to get this... Um, discharging and uh yeah and we'll get it over to the dye station after it's dried okay so i let this sit in front of a fan until it was completely dry and as you can see there's no real black in there it's kind of hard to do with one hand um but yeah i checked it there's no black in between there and I'm just going to use some green, red, and blue, all from Dharma. And typically I would recommend doing an ice dye, 
um, just for saturation and I like the ice dye effect but I'm going to do liquid for this just because I want to see how it does and so yeah I've got urea in my dyes as well and I'm going to do technically I think what's called a low water immersion or something um, technically I'm just going to let it sit in the dye that I'm um, pouring onto it and I think it's a low water immersion technique I can't remember the proper terminology but yeah basically just going to let it sit instead of having it drain off and I don't have the best lighting right now I just kind of wanted to be outside and I tried to have it over here but it looks weird and yeah so I just figured I'd do it right here so I did my blue first I'm doing red now next to the blue because that'll make purple and I like purple and then we're just gonna do a little bit of green here at the end excited to see what this will turn out to be like I said I've never done the uh, liquid with these but I'm trying to get rid of my dyes I'm moving soon and I just need to use these up and so here we are using them up And this is not my best camera work ever, so I apologize for that. Typically you go like nice and slow for the dye. And I've typically got a better camera angle. So anyway, um, I'm probably going to flip it and do the other side. But again, I only have one hand. So that'll probably be it for this portion of the video and I'll make sure and get pictures once it's done and rinsed out and everything so thank you for watching okay so the tapestry has been washed and dried and pretty much all good to go now I might clip off these little snippets on the edges there um, but yeah, basically I love how it turned out. I let it sit for about 48 hours and dry after I had um, done the dye discharge. And then I um, dyed it with blue, green, and red and uh, let that sit for about 48 hours. And then I did a hot water irrigation just to ensure that all the dye got um, bonded to the fabric as much as it could but I think it turned out pretty great I'm very happy with it you can definitely see the lines came out good better than some others that I've done so yeah thanks for watching everybody have a good one